Welcome into the universe of video game creation. A quick peek at the past will highlight the origins and technological progress in video game quality and diversity. Let's take a look at the improvements of the peripheral, also known as microcomputers, platform, consoles or systems. They were introduced on a commercial level around 1970 and became increasingly popular since the 80s. Soon after, the portable computers and phone will propel this technology to new heights. Today, we can find video game in many forms, whether it be in simulation devices, cellular phone or learning products. An evolution based on almost 40 years already. A type of game refers to the main characteristic of the action experimented by the player. The most common genres are sports, race, dexterity, adventure, combat, roleplay, puzzle, stealth, strategy, simulation, and of course, the music and rhythm games. First displayed in arcades, later introduced as personal consoles, Video gamer software is able to interact with electronic devices. They are mainly used for entertainment purposes. The creation of a game takes from one to three years, even more time for certain types. Video games are created in a studio like this one, by a developer, then fabricated by a manufacturer and distributed. The designers are the first one to put it in gear by creating the concept and gameplay. They find the inspiration from many different sources, like in any new toys, entertainment gadgets, or novelties. They are constantly looking for innovative ideas. They have to design the game based on a chosen concept, while respecting some constraints like ethic, time, processing power, the target audience, and most importantly, the quality of the product. We organize a lot of team meetings. We think about the building blocks of the game, the location, the characters, the story, and then we test a lot of games because we're gamers ourselves and we come up with a solution. Well, it's got to be technically possible and tons of fun. We're all big gamers, so we kind of know what works in the industry and what doesn't. With the years experience that we have, we know how to approach this certain situation and make a choice based on our experience. Hello? Who actually builds the game? Well, the process involves a lot of people. The engineers and the artists are extremely important to us, the designers. We get them involved in the process very early so that we can make decisions and we find out exactly what needs to be done to get the game properly done. The programmers create a prototype, in other words, an example of the game to demonstrate its potential. When the constraints are met and the basic engineering done, the prototype is approved. The software has to provide interaction with the environment based on the player entries. Its manipulation is made by a peripheral, like a controller, joystick, keyboard, or mouse. The programming tools are created first. They're going to be used by the development team to create the game. So what that basically means is it's a production line. And in that production line, everyone participates by making a little piece of a really big puzzle. So once we have all our programming tools, the whole team comes together and we build a prototype. So once we have our prototype, we do that a bunch of times, over and over again, to see which one we have is the best. And once we have our best one, we go and we show it to our big bosses. And they sit there and we wait for them to give us the green light. So the team will make the source code, the graphics, and the concepts all at the same time. And it's a really long and slow process, but the team goes really, really quickly. It's hard to see the final result, but once we get there, it's fantastic. The producer makes sure that his team is on the same page regarding the project vision and the production procedures. There is a technical director, a art director and designers who are working more closely with the artist and programmer of each discipline. The cutting-edge technology behind the artist's softwares and tools gives new meaning to the world drawing and video game programming. The modelers create in three dimension elements like the object or characters according to the required proportion and limits of polygons. Elements with the smallest amount of polygons are wanted since they require less processing power to be displayed or used in an animation. The animation of the characters and object represents another profession in itself. The animators create the motion and reaction of the elements, sometimes fluid or in contrast with the environment. The 
Amongst the animators, some are specialized in producing cinematics. They are short film appearing in various moments of certain games, used to mark a passage to a superior level or as an introduction or story narration. The sound artists are in charge of sound effects, voice recording and modulation. The assembly is a delicate process, even more when the project is coming to an end. Engineers have to work closely with much precaution. During the last steps, any change to the code can cause a devastating domino effect on the stability of the game. As soon as certain parts of the gameplay are ready, the testing process begins and will continue until no major bug can be found. Focus testing is done to obtain direct feedback from the consumers at several different stages of development. The quality assurance analyzes the game through a series of tests made to detect all the anomalies. The testing will last until the end of production. At this point, no more modifications are allowed. We are doing polishing only for the last few weeks until the product is submitted to the manufacturer. The recent gaming softwares are generally produced for one or more of the following system. Xbox 360, Nintendo DS, Cellular, Wii, Mac, PC, PSP, PS3, and 2. The type of game, the nature of mechanics, the complexity of graphics is often what will make it harder for us to port one game from one console to the other. Games need to be created keeping the types of consoles in mind. Finally, the constant breakthrough in technology really allow us to push the limits of graphic quality, storytelling, and the creation of environments. The possibilities are endless.